Hi there. As of 5th of July, Panasonic have upgraded the Panasonic Lumix GH6 with firmware 2.0. And this firmware comes with three fairly large components. One of them is ProRes recording internally in the camera. The Cinema 4K and Full HD profiles have been added. Additionally, we now got raw HDMI recording to an Atomos Ninja 5 or 5 Plus recorder. Um, where you can record 5.8K, 5.7K, Cinema 4K, Full HD to the recorder um, and um, that in RAW and then basically in progress RAW on the recorder. Um, the third component of the upgrade is full support for active tracking on a DJI Ronin RS2 or, or RSC2 and that obviously includes also the newly released RS3 and RS3 Pro. So that's mainly what's in there. There's a few downsides to expect uh, on the raw HDMI recording. The uh, Cinema 4K 120fps is unfortunately cropped. So while the Panasonic GH6 has uh, HDMI 2.1, the Atomos Ninja 5 Plus only has HDMI 2.0. So it's probably not enough bandwidth to send Cinema 4K at 120fps at the resolution that the uh, G6 would be doing in RAW. So you might still be better off recording Cinema 4K 120fps internally in the camera on CF Express B media instead of to the recorder. It depends on your use case and what, uh, what lenses you're using. I'm going to go through uh, the upgrade process and uh, through the modes and um, also then basically give you a detailed list of which modes works with what. The difference between using a Ninja 5 and a Ninja 5 Plus is that certain modes are only supported on the Ninja 5 Plus. So something like Cinema 4K 120 FPS, um, 5.7K 60 FPS is only possible on the Ninja uh, 5 Plus. Uh, so on the Ninja 5 you would have 5.7K 30 FPS instead as the maximum. So there's a couple there. Um, I have a table later on in the video um, that um, you can basically see which modes works with what and um, we'll go from there. Well, let's get into it. Here's a short overview over the firmware improvements. I'll leave a link to the download below in the description and let's get on with the uh, firmware upgrade. So the first thing is to get into the menu and down to the settings, so the little wrench and then um, again at the bottom there is firmware version and go into that. I have already loaded the firmware um, onto the uh, SD card um, start the upgrade. It's as simple as taking the download and just putting the file onto onto the SD card. The speeding this up here it takes a while. Um, so once it's finished it takes a little bit where the camera just is black. You think like, Ooh, screw that up. Nope. And here she's back. So as I go back into firmware version, you can now see that um, I have now body firmware 2.0 in here. And when we go up into the uh, modes, into the recording quality, um, you can see here in 5.7K uh, 30p, we had those modes already. The 5.7, so the new ones are the C4K um, and the full HD modes, and they are all there in both normal and high quality. The other thing that you need to upgrade then is the Atomos Ninja V or V Plus um, to Atom OS 10.77. The same way, this is done the same way as with the, uh, as with, for example, the camera, you, you put the file on the card. So, anyhow, one of the new features is HDMI raw output. So once you enable that in the GH6, you can see that the uh, screen on the Ninja reinitializes and then tells you that you need to swap into ProRes raw because this is now a raw HDMI output that it's getting. In the HDMI raw, um, we, we are now getting new modes and as you can see here we have 5.8k 30, we have 5.7k 60 and below 4.4k 4, 4. 60, that one is unfortunately cropped, uh, 1.3, 
And we have Cinema 4K 120p that is cropped at 1.4. And then we have all the lower modes also. Um, so that's the modes we are getting. If on the Atomos Ninja 5, you will not be able to use 5.7K 60 or Cinema 4K 120. And the way that shows is that it basically has no HDMI input um, on the recorder. It will just not show you any picture. That's how you know. In this table, you can see um, all resolutions listed here for HDMI raw recording are supported on the Ninja 5 Plus. The recording modes that are not supported on the Ninja 5 are 5.8K 60, um, Cinema 4K 120, 5.8K anamorphic in 30p is not supported, and the 4.4K 60. And those are all not supported uh, on the Ninja 5, but they are supported on the Ninja 5 Plus. Additionally, the benefit uh, to record with HDMI RAW is obviously um, that you get 12-bit recording where it's 10-bit internally in the uh, Panasonic GH6. That was a short walk through um, the new modes on the Panasonic GH6 with the new firmware 2.0. One of the advantages of the internal recording modes is obviously that you now can record full HD in ProRes to fix in the SD card and don't need to record to a CF Express card. Um, another thing you need to consider is that Cinema 4K uh, 120 and 4.4K 60, which is the anamorphic mode, those are cropped and sometimes it might be actually an advantage to record internally instead. The reason that those two modes are cropped is more than likely that the uh, HDMI port on the Atomos Ninja 5 and 5 Plus only is HDMI 2.0, where the uh, GH6 is future-proofed and has HDMI 2.1, uh, but there's not enough bandwidth in HDMI 2.0 um, to uh, send Cinema 4K uncropped in 120 FPS from the GH6 to the uh, Ninja. Another feature that would be nice to see in the future is if we get um, something like B-RAW recording from the GH6 that already exists in the Panasonic Lumix SH1H, so it is viable to, that, that it might come around. Um, one of the next updates that we're probably going to see is USB recording that was promised before the launch um, and that hasn't been implemented yet. So the ability to record uh, directly to a USB SSD drive. I hope this was helpful um, and if you would like down below, I will be leaving uh, links to both the Panasonic GH6 and the Atomos Ninja upgrades down below. And um, I'll see you for another one. Bye.